What's up, Magic FM? Checking in with you guys. Happy hump day. So yeah, right, let me get that out there. So check it out. Big surprise. We got big up and coming superstar Trevor Daniels is going to be joining the Instagram live right now. We're going to talk about his brand new album coming out. We got his brand new song alone. Uh, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff going down. So uh, thanks for checking in. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh oh. Uh, what's up, everybody? So I still haven't found a Halloween costume yet. I still need some ideas. If you got any ideas, drop them below. I don't know. I keep on feeling like Tiger King's the way to go. I don't know why. I just feel inspired. Tiger King's the way to go. What up, Big Chad? What up, Big Dylan? Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. What's going on, everybody? So uh, like I said, here momentarily, we'll have Trevor Daniels join the live. We'll ask him a few questions. If you guys have any questions as well, too, uh, drop them below. I'll ask him. Uh, but he has a lot of big stuff going down. I mean, he has a, a big show going down next weekend. The new album's coming out uh, November 5th. So we'll talk about that with him, see kind of how that uh, process went down. Uh, and like I said, any questions you guys want to ask, drop it below. What up, Chad? Yeah, right? Tiger King could be a good, that's a good costume. Come on. And you guys know Tiger King Season 2 is coming out, which, you know, the first one helped us get through that quarantine. I, I hope this one will be just as good, but uh, yep, Tiger King Part 2 is coming out here soon. But what you guys up to today? It's a little chilly outside too, man. The summer is over. It's time for sweater weather. I swear my, my car heater better not mess up. I need that working. Brett Michaels, okay. I like the way you're going. You know, you, you're taking it back, you know. Maybe Tiger King, Brett Michaels isn't too far apart. No, no I'm joking. I'm joking. But yeah, I hope everybody's having a good day. We're just waiting on Mr. Trevor Daniels to join the live, and we'll check in with him and see what he's up to. All right, all right. Let's see. <laughs> I like the Brett Michaels. That's pretty good. What are you guys dressing up as? Give me some ideas. Heck yeah, it's about to go down. Hump day. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. All right. I think we got it momentarily. We got Mr. Trevor Daniels joining the live. <clears throat> Dressed up as one of the CSW wrestlers. You're right. I should do that too. I'm going to do that coming up. All right, everybody. Let's give a big round of applause and welcome Mr. Trevor. Yo. Hey, what's going on, brother? Chilling, chilling. How about you, bro? Can't complain, man. You know, just hanging out, you know, chilling on a home day. So, Hell yeah. Can't complain, man. But uh, just want to say, man, thank you for taking some time to uh, hop on this live and, uh, you know, just kind of hang out for a little while, man. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Of course, brother. Of course, brother. Well, I uh, wanted to start off first. I wanted to uh, give you a uh, belated happy birthday, man. I know your birthday was last month. Um, Thanks, did, bro. Did, yeah, did you uh, get a chance to do anything fun? I mean, I know you're probably super busy, but did you get a chance to go out and enjoy, you know, the birthday? Yeah, I went out to eat with some friends and everything, and, uh, you know, we, we had some steaks and everything. It was tight. Okay. Nice, nice. All right. Big birthday. So cool. But uh, let's hop right into all the good stuff, man. So, uh, you know, your latest single, Alone, uh, just came out recently. song is uh, super awesome. Uh, you know, definitely a very, like, kind of emotional, kind of deep song. Uh, you know, do those songs kind of come from experience? Uh, you know, kind of where do you tap in to kind of get those songs? Well, that one was, like, directly, like, in the moment type of vibe. Uh, that one was, like, currently happening. My, my my homie's crashed out on the couch right now, so if you hear him <laughs> snoring, that's not on me. <laughs> We're like, yo, where, where's this from, you know? Yeah. Well, tell, well, tell homie we said what up to all right, bet. <laughs> but, uh, okay. No, that's pretty dope, man. No, like I said, the song is super awesome, man. You know, definitely loving the song. And, uh, 
you know, I was always kind of curious, you know, like where some of those kind of come from. And, you know, like, like I said, I didn't know if it was like a personal experience or maybe something that you kind of, you know, saw that kind of, you know, helped kind of, you know, draw the inspiration for those type of songs, you know? Yeah. Heck yeah. No, that's yes. the song. Heck yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Then, uh, well, let's just kind of jump back into some more good stuff, man. So the new album, the new album coming out November 5th, man. Uh, yeah. That was then. Um, and I know I uh, kind of doing a little research on you. I saw that you said a lot of that album actually you did last year when we were locked up during those wicked times, doing those quarantine days. Um, yeah. But, you know, so what, what kind of went into that process, you know, like, making that album, I mean, you were locked inside all day, every day. I mean, was the inspiration just like flooding you and hitting you like every single day and it just kind of happened or was it kind of more or less, you know, something to do during the quarantine? Nah, bro. I didn't have any inspiration last year. It was weird. Like, um, like I would say probably like 95% of the year I was just sitting there like, damn, how do I get inspired? <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause like, also, so much shit was happening, like, like in my personal life and stuff, while, like, nothing was happening at the same time, you know what I mean? Like, so it was weird. It was super weird. It was, like, um, you know, they were, like, oh, shit, yo, like, falling went number one, and I'm, like, damn, tight. Like, I was excited, you know what I mean? I was, like, I was, like, this is tight, um, but then I was, like, looking at, like, a screenshot, you know what I mean? I'm like, damn, this is this is weird. It's not what I expected. This is not what I, I like in my head, you know. Um, but I was still I was still hyped about it. But it was like this weird, like, 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 push and pull type of vibe. Like I didn't really understand, um, like, what anything meant, you know. Uh, so, cause like everything like really took off like during COVID. I'm like sitting in my house looking at the same walls every day. And I'm just like, damn, okay. And I don't really like social media that much, you know what I mean? So I'm not like posting a lot or like, um, like I try to stay engaged and everything, but I don't, I don't really like post a lot. And like, uh, so it was like, it was like weird. You know? Like everything, everything was super weird last year. So like on this project, like my emotions are like to the extreme pretty much, you know? Like, uh, like every song is like, the extreme of that emotion that I was feeling like uh, so and it, but it was cool though like I like the songs that made the project like I got to make them with my friends and stuff just like locked in my house and shit so it was like it was cool hell yeah that sounds like a pretty cool you know like at least you had you know people around you you know to kind of you know maybe help kind of foster some of those you know whatever it was ideas or inspirations you know and stuff like that because uh you know to your point yeah last year was Definitely, I could imagine wicked for, you know, people like you, you know, kind of, you know, just kind of coming up, kind of getting that first buzz. And then kind of like you said, it's like, all right, now just stay in your house, uh, you know, but we're going to tell you your song is number one, but uh, yeah. stay in your house and don't do anything about it. You're like, uh, okay, uh, all right, like, I'll wait a while yeah, for it. it was weird. It was <laughs> super weird, bro. Like, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what was happening. So... Hey, man, like the rest of us, man, like, I'm glad we all, you know, we all made it through those times, you know, got out of it, but, you know, it was definitely yeah, weird times for sure. It's like, you know, what do I do with my time? And, you know, I imagine just like me, you know, like, I, you know, I enjoy kind of, you know, being, you know, out there and being very creative, you know, and kind of getting outside my walls and, yeah, you know, being locked in the house was, it was different, man. <laughs> it was weird, bro. It was weird. Definitely put some weird pressure on you. Heck yeah, heck yeah. So now, uh, do you have a favorite song off the album? Is there one song that really, like, you know, just kind of hits you that you're like, yo, this is, like, this is the joint that kind of, like, sums up the album, you know? Um, it's It depends on the day, really. Like, because it's, like, it's, like, a short EP. It's, like, eight songs, seven songs. Um, So it's, like, it's just, like, uh, it depends on the day. Because the ones I, I put on there, like, I really liked. But, like, it's it's kind of, like, there's like parts of it that are like stuff I've dropped before. And then some of it's like, like a little jarring, I think like, cause it was like very extreme head spaces. So, um, you know, I say some slightly like offensive shit in my mom's eye. You know what I mean? Like, like my mom probably won't be like super stoked about some of this stuff, but whatever. <laughs> 
true. Like, I can't believe my baby said that. Like, sorry, mom. Just, yeah. Got to get out there. <laughs> okay. No. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, uh, so, uh, how did it feel, you know, when you first kind of, you know, heard Fallen was, you know, reaching those heights, you know what I mean? Was, you know, obviously, I think, I can assume the expectation when you made that album was like, yo, this is going to be, you know, a banger, you know, this is going to catch. But I mean, you know, when it happened and it really like, you know, you saw it, I mean, what was that feeling like? Um, that was, that was interesting. Cause like, I didn't even know it was happening. I, Cause I was like locked in usually outside of like last year, usually when I like work on a project, like I like shut off from the world kind of like I'll like purposefully lose my phone. Um, I'll um, like, I'll like hide it somewhere. Like when I'm not thinking, like I'll just like toss it and I just won't find it. Like, so I just won't know where my phone is. Like, I won't be distracted at all. And I'll just, like, bang him out. And um, and then, uh, yeah. So, I mean, whenever it was popping, I was, like, in the middle of that with nicotine. So, uh, and, like, my friend came over. She was like, yo, have you seen what's happening on TikTok? And I'm like, nah. Like, I deleted TikTok because it was distracting me. And I had, like, 400 followers. I had never posted a video. Um... Like, I don't even know where the followers came from. Like, I think maybe I was like, yo, follow me on TikTok one day. Like, I don't, I don't remember doing it, but like, whatever. Or if people found me because of the same username, whatever it was. But, um, but like, yeah, bro. Like, I just like looked on there and it was like every five songs was kind of interesting. I was like, holy shit. Like, what's going on? And then I checked the Spotify stats and I'm like, oh, f like, this shit is translating. <laughs> like, okay what's happening like what do we do now and uh i think the whole team like we were, we were just kind of like yo like all right how do we how do we follow up and then so like i had to kind of like speed up the process of the album while doing like hella interviews and like and like uh meetings and shit like it was just a whole bunch of that um like and it was cool like i was having fun with it and it was low-key like keeping keeping me sane a little bit like interviews and stuff because oh, like uh because otherwise i was in the studio 24 7 so it was like ear breaks a little bit i was able to like you know just like talking like to people and stuff like with the interviews and stuff and then like going to lunch and meetings like those were cool because i would get to rest my ears because then it was right back to the studio and um at a certain point you don't know if a song is really good or or is really horrible because <laughs> you just like you're just hearing it um, but yeah, yeah. Okay. No, heck yeah, man. No, like I said, I mean, I can assume, you know, like, you know, something like that just kind of comes. It's just like, you know, you're just kind of going from, you know, doing your normal thing to being like, all right, yeah, like you said, I'm going to a meeting now and I'm going to this lunch and this interview. And now yeah. they ask me about this song and just like, hey, I mean, I just made the song, you know, like I didn't really know, you know, this type of, you know, reaction was going to happen, you know, so. Yeah. Like you always want it to happen. You know what I mean? But when it happens, especially like the first time, you're just like, "Oh damn! All right, <laughs> you're like, like, what, am I, what am I like? How am I supposed to react to this? Like, I don't, you know." So it was tight. It was really tight. Heck yeah! Now, now with like a song like "Falling," you know, and alone, like, do those songs put extra pressure on you to kind of keep that momentum going, you know, or is it kind of one of those things that, like you said, you know, you kind of make songs in the moment, so you know, your whole thing is like, "Hey, I made this song. That's a that's a chapter. Now I'm kind of moving on to." maybe like, a, you know, a new sound or, you know, kind of like, you know, what does that kind of process go? Do you, are you always kind of, you know, trying to do better than the other? I'm always trying to do better than the other. Um, like, I think when Falling was popping off, I was a little, I was like, it was, it was just going so crazy that like, I didn't really feel much pressure. You know what I mean? I was just like, like, damn, <laughs> like we made in two hours and it's going this crazy. You know what I mean? So I didn't really feel much pressure at the time. And then like once COVID hit, I felt like a massive amount of pressure. You know what I mean? It was weird because everything shifted to social media, which I know it blew up on TikTok, but I didn't really have anything to do with that. Like outside of making the song. Um, so I didn't know how to post TikToks. Like if you watch my first TikTok, I'm like standing in the TikTok building. They literally had to drag me to TikTok. Like, and they were like, all right, just stand there and do this. Like, and I'm just like, bro, I don't know. So I was just sitting there awkward as hell, like, yeah, I made the song. And then, um, but yeah, when COVID started, like, 
that was like when I started thinking a lot. I think like thinking about shit too much, especially when it comes to art, like it can really mess with your head because it's all like, you know, it's all, you know, subjective. It just depends on like what people like. So like the pressure definitely hit heavy last year, bro. Like, like once like things like after falling went number one, I was like, okay, can't go any higher than that. So now it's definitely on to the next. And then, um, like, and I had like the worst writer's block of my life at that moment. So I was like, damn, fuck, like, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, and so I just started making stuff and then, um, and then, yeah, bro, like, um, yeah, the pressure is definitely there. Like, I still feel pressure, but, like, I think, like, I'm, like, learning, like, the industry, and I'm, like, learning, like, the business side of things more, like, which is low-key, like, my least favorite part of making music. But, like, um, the music part, like, I'm starting to realize, like, um, it really just comes down to, like, people can feel – a hundred percent when when you mean it and like when you're when you're in it you know what i mean because i've definitely been in some sessions where i'm like damn this just feels like i'm trying to make a hit and it's not dope and you can tell you have your like nah. not cool like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like yeah it's just like um yeah man like now i'm just making stuff and i'm really happy with it and I'm at this point where I'm just like, 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 I'm noticing whenever I I really like dive in and like I'm really passionate about something. Like that's probably for a reason. It's like, like I feel like there's like meanings behind it. Like, there's like songs that I'm like really f like yo like I really believe in this one. I don't know why, and I'll get like mixed feedback from people, and that's always concerning. And then, like, then it then it does well, you know. Um, like we got mixed feedback on falling, you know what I mean? Like hella mixed feedback, and um, you know we believed in that one, and then it it worked, you know. So, um, so far, like it's pretty much the same story every time. Like, anytime I'm like, yo, this is it, this is it, like, you know, and. But I'm also not, like, chasing that anymore because, like, like, I wasn't ever chasing it. But, like, I didn't want to be that guy who fell off. And, like, technically, technically, like, I definitely feel like I fell off last year. But, like, I don't at the same time. Because it's weird, bro. Because, like, now, like, I'll go back and at the festivals, it just feels like nothing stopped. But, like, all year last year, like, even – the week falling was number one. I felt like I was like, I fell off already and it was still climbing. I was, but it's just like in my head and, and like, pressure kinda like, and also like, I'm starting to realize none of that shit matters. You know what I mean? Like, that's the crazy part. Like, cause like, especially cause it's like so hyper-focused on social media nowadays. It's really weird. Cause like, like, I'll, I'll go through spurts. Like, I don't like posting on social media unless it's, like, actually, I got something to, like, show people. But now you got, like, algorithms and stuff. And, like, you know, the thing about that shit, and I'm like, damn, bro. Like, like that's... A that goes into it, man, you know? <laughs> yeah, and then they're like, oh, like, hey, like, you should post today. It's, like, a good time to post. And I'm like, I look like shit today. Like, I don't <laughs> want to post today. Like, <laughs> like, I don't have anything to post. And then, uh, so it's just, like, a whole bunch of that. I feel like a lot of the pressure just comes from, like, feeling like I have to always, like, do something. So I basically just, like, revolt and don't do anything except for make music. And, like, so far, like, I mean, as far as, like, like, people still listening, like, they still give a fuck, even if they don't follow me on Instagram or whatever. I don't care about that shit. Like, you know like that's cool whatever and i get why like it's supposed to be important but like um like it's still working without it you know what oh, i mean yeah. but like you know i i definitely need to like stop being lame and like you know post <laughs> a little bit more because i know that's like a way to like 
communicate and everything. I just like I feel like 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 if if I'm not like actively like hey I have a song coming out hey like blah 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 like here's something for you then like who gives a shit <laughs> here at my house like who cares you know what I mean like that's that's how I feel hey but, man like, they care man they want to know man you know they love you dude I know I, I just gotta get that into my head though because like because otherwise I'm just like sitting here and I'm just like all right bro I'm just sitting here like eating snacks like making music and watching squid games or whatever like like and i don't even watch tv like that but like it's like whatever like i could just talk about like basic ass shit that everybody's doing that i'm i'm participating in or whatever and like like i i just don't know why people would care but like i guess people do so it's like weird trying to like get back on that so that's where the pressure comes in for me oh yeah yeah no, and, and you're right. And I can see that, too, you know, I mean, because, you know, and I think that's what it is, too. Like, even, you know, for me sometimes, you know, I mean, I'm pretty big. I like posting all this stuff. But even at times, I'm like, I'm not really doing anything but, like, sitting in, you know, the studio or, like, like you said, you know, walking through a park or whatever, you know. But it's like people just, like, want that engagement, you know. And it's like, you know, when they're, you know, when they kind of believe in you and they, you know, kind of know that you're an authentic person, you know, they kind of, like, they almost, like, feed off it. Like, you know, oh, my God, what's he watching on TV, you know, like. Oh my God, he loves McDonald's. I love McDonald's too. You're like, okay, like, just the same old, same old. But. Hell yeah, I feel that. I guess. So, is there a so when you do make a so when you do make your music, is there like a go-to person that you go to, like a family member, a friend, when you're just like, hey, I just made this song, like, you know, give me feedback, you know, like you just want that honest feedback. Is there that one person that you go to when you make a new song? Um, probably my homie Friday. Okay. Like, he's my engineer um so like i I mean he hears everything but yeah probably him probably yeah, him he hears everything anyway so pretty much him everybody else i don't really show my stuff to like i don't show my stuff to like hardly anybody because like if they what really irritates me is if i'm like trying to show somebody a song and then they start like talking over it like i just want to turn this shit off i don't even want to play it but <laughs> Like, hold on, my song's playing. Hold on, hold on. Like, let, let, let's play yeah. my song. Yeah, exactly. No, I hear that. Heck yeah. Um, all right, so uh, so I see you have a uh, a show going down next weekend. So during mm -hmm. the during the uh, Halloween weekend. So I gotta ask the question. You got a Halloween costume? Yeah, I do. I uh -oh, do. Sh share it with us. So what are you gonna be for Halloween this year? I can't. It's a surprise because I'm gonna pull up on stage with it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh shoot! Okay. I got a wig though. I can tell you that I got a wig though, and it looks fire. It's like crazy. It it's a crazy. Oh shoot! Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to. Okay, we'll definitely have to keep in tune with that to figure out, you know, what costume you got going down. Yeah, it's gonna be tight. Heck yeah! Uh, so we got a couple more, a uh, couple last questions for you, man. So uh, this is gonna kind of just be, you know, just kind of diving into kind of the person you are. So you kind of already tapped into it a, a little bit, but uh. I was going to ask, what's your, your favorite TV show? And I was going to ask, is it Squid Games? Um, it was, but I finished that. Um, How'd you like it? It was dope. It was dope. After I got over, like, the like the first, like, episode, like, I had to get used to the dubs a little bit because I was, like, like, I don't know. I was just paying too much attention. And, uh, but when, once I got over that, it was, like, really tight. Heck yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, anything else you're watching or i was watching midnight mass for a second um that one's really good uh that one in, i haven't really dove too too deep into i think i'm like four episodes deep but mm -hmm. uh, but yeah that that one's been kind of like an on and off thing but i really like that one so far too okay yeah, yeah i have to check that one out i hope you've seen that one yet heck yeah okay sweet sweet um and then uh who musically inspires you? So who who are like some artists that like, you know, you you gain inspiration from, you know, either, you know, current, back in the day, or they're like, you know, what type of artist do you listen to? Maybe when you're like pulling up into the studio or maybe, you know, when you're waking up in the morning and just kind of, you know, taking in all those, you know, all that energy. Like uh, who are some of those artists that really inspire you? Um, I mean, for Better Off Alone, 
definitely Alice DJ for that one, uh, for sure. Yeah. But um, other than that, you know, Kid Cudi, Drake, Kanye, um, just, you know, Panic at the Disco, Paramore, a whole bunch of stuff. Just, it's like all, all over the place, like just stuff I would listen to growing up. Um, I think really influenced like me melodically and 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 like flow wise and just overall music wise. So yeah, gotcha, gotcha. so uh, j dream collaboration. So any collaboration you could ever do, who would it be with? Uh, probably Kid Cudi. Like there's a lot, you know like Travis Scott, um, Drake. You know, a Dua Lipa. I've said that like a thousand times, so hopefully that shit happens one day. Um, a ton of people. There's a lot of people I just want to, like, make music with just to see how we would sound on a song together, even if it never came out. Um, yeah. Those are the ones I think of off top. Okay. Sweet, man. Heck yeah, man. Like I said, well, I won't take too much of your time up, but uh, before we wrap it up, you know, definitely wanted to talk about... Uh, what you have coming up next, you know, I know you're, I can only imagine you're probably working on brand new music. Um, so yeah. You can kind of just give us a little bit of like, you know, just a little bit of a teaser of, you know, kind of what you have coming up, uh, you know, any big tours kind of coming up, just whatever you can give us, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, as far as touring next year, I'm definitely doing it. I don't really know much more. <laughs> like, I don't really know many details on that. Um, and then, like and then the next project i'm following up quick i'll never i'll never go a year um without like dropping music again that was the most miserable year of my life like, <laughs> like as far as not dropping music like that get i hate that um so i'm gonna drop this project on november 5th and then i'm gonna try to follow up within the next like three months with like a whole full length so um and then you know continue with that just because like i want to make a lot of music all the time and i do make a lot of music i just don't put most of it out so i think it'd be easy to just make a whole album in a couple months like it should be nothing but um you know we'll see what happens so yeah, yeah. but yeah. Don't worry. we'll all be in tune man we'll all be checking in with the social media just like oh what's he doing now what's he up to but uh you know, Let's man, go. Like I said, well, thank you so much, man. Mr. Trevor Daniel, thank you for taking time to stop through and uh, let us learn a little bit more about you. And uh, whenever you're in Colorado next time, please, man, look me up, come by the station, you know, and, uh, you know, I definitely love to, uh, you know, meet you in real life, brother. Hell yeah, man. That'd be dope. Cool. All right, man. Well, thank you guys so much. And uh, make sure you check out the brand new album coming out November 5th. Yeah. <laughs> All right, brother. Talk to you later, man. All right. Peace, y'all. Peace.